Nursing homes to receive a 2.2% Medicare bump and 1 million point of care tests delivered to nursing homes. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, August 5th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Nursing homes will receive an aggregate $750 million Medicare pay increase for fiscal year 2021 under a final rule announced Friday by CMS. It, it would amount to a 2.2% net increase starting October 1st, 2020, when fiscal year 2021 begins. Originally, CMS proposed a 2.3% net increase, or $784 million, for fiscal year 2021. That would have been the, bribe, the byproduct of a 2.7% market basket increase, less a 0.4% reduction for multi-factor productivity adjustment. Instead, this estimated increase is attributable to a 2.2% market basket increase and adjusted by a 0 0.0 percentage point productivity adjustment, the agency explained. CMS also plans to apply a 5% cap to any decreases in a provider's wage index from fiscal year 2020 to 21 under the new rule. That will be informed by revised geographic delineations provided by the Office of Management and Budget to identify a provider's status as an urban or a rural facility and to calculate the, calculate the wage index. The final rule also finalizes changes to the ICD-10 code mappings used under the patient-driven payment model to classify skilled nursing patients into payment groups. Additionally, the rule finalizes updates to the skilled nursing facility value-based purchasing program to reflect previously finalized policies and updates, the 30-day phase one review and correction deadline to the baseline period quality measure qu quarterly report. The federal government delivered about 1 million point-of-care tests to nursing homes last week, according to a leading health official. The federal government announced the point-of-care testing program for nursing homes in mid-July, pledging to provide the instruments and tests to more than 15,000 nursing homes in the nation. Officials are now delivering on that promise, Department of Health and Human Services Assistant Secretary for Health Brett Giroir said during a hearing on Friday. Quote, by the end of this week, we would have delivered, according to schedule, nearly 1 million point of care or antigen tests to the 1,019 of the highest risk nursing homes with another 664 nursing homes scheduled for next week, Dror told the House Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Crisis on Friday. Federal officials initially announced that 2,000 long-term care facilities in hotspot areas would receive initial priority to receive the testing instruments and supplies. Along with the antigen test instruments, the government said it would provide around 400 tests per facility. In late July, CMS released the names of the first facilities to receive the POC tests. Overall, the United States has conducted more than 59 million COVID-19 tests as of Friday, according to Jaror. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.